We're talking with Dr. Hope Rugo at ASCO 2009. Dr. Rugo, thanks for talking with us. What are your uh, key takeaways from the conference? Well, this year's ASCO is very interesting. I think we've seen for the first time a targeted therapeutic called a PARP inhibitor, poly-ADP ribose inhibitor, that when combined with chemotherapy in patients with hormone receptor negative, HER2 negative, advanced breast cancer, resulted in not only a marked improvement in response, but also a 50% improvement in survival. This is a patient population who traditionally has actually very poor survival and limited treatment options, particularly in the metastatic setting, where those patients don't have uh, specific hormone therapies, they can't use her to her two directed therapies, and usually their survival is very short. So this data, which was presented by Joyce O'Shaughnessy for U.S. Oncology, actually randomized patients to the combination of gemcitabine and carboplatin, carboplatin I'm given weekly, along with gemcitabine, two out of every three weeks, with or without this PARP inhibitor that's given intravenous, intravenously several times a week. And uh, they showed these remarkable results in a randomized phase two trial. I think the first time we've ever seen actually a survival benefit from a randomized phase two trial. At the same uh, time, so on the same afternoon, uh, in a separate clinical science symposium, an investigator uh, from Europe presented another PARP inhibitor given as a single agent in a phase two trial where they looked at two different dosages. So different PARP inhibitor, it's oral. And they showed a response rate in a small number of patients, a little over 20, of a little over 40% with this single agent, you know, PARP inhibitor. And uh, so there's great enthusiasm. And then we heard, you know, uh, talks before, after, a lot of summaries about PARP inhibitors and where things are going. So where things are going is a phase three trial that will look at gemcitabine and carboplatinum versus the triple combination with the PARP inhibitor and then allow patients who are on just the two chemo drugs to cross over to get the PARP inhibitor when their cancers progress. And we're very hopeful that that data will lead to approval of the first agent that's targeted specifically for patients with this very high risk type of breast cancer and of course will lead to studies in earlier stage disease and improved curability of this cancer. One of the questions that comes up a lot is why it works. What, what is a PARP inhibitor? Nobody understands it. So actually in response to this, ASCO had a, uh, a pharmacologist give a really fabulous talk on the mechanism of action. But very briefly, these cancers appear to have problems with DNA repair and PARP improves DNA repair. So if you inhibit PARP, then you allow for cell death. It's basically what people call synthetic lethality. So you, you block both pathways, cancer can't survive. So very, very exciting.